Oh, I'm sorry, for the six car types. Okay. So, um, okay, so here are my car types. And we know using the control key allows me to go over here to the totals. I'm going to click on insert. I, I don't think anybody had problems with this part, but let me just do the whole thing. And I need to create what a 3D pie chart. Um, I guess I could go to pie here, 3D. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Does that look good? Okay. Uh, reposition the chart so that the upper left corner is in cell A12. Get it right where it's supposed to be. Okay. Uh, on the 3D part pie chart, change the title to annual. Oops, let me get that. Uh, to annual rentals. You saw I was just clicking there. Change the font of the title to Arial. Get over here to Arial Black. Let's see where was it. 16 point and bold. Okay, so Arial Black, 16 point and bold. Okay. Uh, okay, adjust the data labels on the pie chart to include the category name uh, and percentage only. Ah, okay, so I need to adjust the data labels on the pie chart chart to include the category name. Okay, so I'll probably need to go to chart tools. Um, it's kind of hurting me to go. Okay, so let me go full screen here. Um, where's my data labels? Like I said, I hadn't done this before. You can see that I'm walking through it the first time here. Uh, can I format? I need to stay on design. Okay. Um, I want to change the categories so that it includes the labels and the percentage only. Okay, so that looks like, I'm going to say that's probably right. All right. Doesn't hurt to go ahead and look through these. The layout 4 is, oh no, that's numbers, okay. Okay, so I think I had it right. I hope you think I have it right, too. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, to include the categories and the percentage only, position the label information on the outside end of the chart. Okay, like that one. Change the font size of the labels to 8 point and apply bold. Delete the legend. Well, we kind of did that. Okay, so that one's there. We need to pull this one out. That one's on the outside. And you know, uh, there there may be. I probably should go through your book with. Um, I haven't uh, reread. There may be. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Okay, is what I'm saying. And so um, maybe that's a terrible analogy. But um, so if there's, you know, if one of these things did um, all did it all in one go, that's that's better. You know, do do that. So okay, I just moved them there. It says change the font size of the labels. Uh, oops. It'd really be nice if I could select them all. Okay, let me click away. There we go. Got them all. Change the font size to um, of the labels to eight. Right now it's nine. And apply bold. Okay. Thank you. Um, okay. So, um, delete the legend. Don't need to delete the legend. It's already gone. Well, I don't think I do. Let me just double check. Okay, looks all right. Uh, on the pie chart, explode the slice of the pie that represents the auto type with the lowest percent of annual rentals. Okay, as I look around, it looks like the relic is the lowest percent. Okay, see how all the dots surround the circle? Click again, see how the dots are just on that one piece of pie? Boom, it's exploded. Okay. Um, I am gonna make that a little bigger because I'm a perfectionist and that's driving me crazy that you can't quite see it. Okay, so we have that. Um, Okay, select the cluster column chart, this guy over here, I'm going to say. 
Select the clustered column chart located below the monthly data. Increase the data used in the clustered column chart to include the months of July, August, and September. Okay, so what do we have right now? Um, well, okay, so we see it does not include July, August, and September. So what I can do is just pull that over. How's that? Okay, so far so good. Change the clustered column chart type to lines uh, to lines with markers. Okay, so right now I have I have this kind of uh, chart type, and I need to change that change chart type to lines, and specifically, I'm going to say lines with markers. And before I click OK, switch the row and column data so that the months July to December are represented on the x-axis. Um, OK, let me click OK here. And uh, then I need to switch. OK, so how about that? So that look, OK, so there it was like that with green collection. And now we have on the x-axis, we have the um, July to December. OK, how are we doing so far? Uh, change the, the chart style to style 6. Um, OK, so of my chart styles, five this there's style six and you saw that it, it showed it there before I clicked on it okay on the line chart add primary vertical grid lines okay on the line chart right add uh, primary major vertical grid lines now I'm tempted to right click here unless there's another um, I was just seeing if I could easily pick it up. Okay, whoops. Let me get away. Okay, so I'm going to right click. Can I uh, format the plot area, which is, see what I had selected there? Uh, let's just see what my options are here. And I've got borders. Okay. Um, you know, sometimes I have to think about this for a moment, same as you may have to. Um, but let me blow this up full screen uh, because I'm looking to add grid lines. There we go. And I want primary vertical grid lines. How about that? That looks a little better. Let me save. I haven't saved in a while. Probably a good idea to save. Um, okay. Change that on the line chart, add primary, major, vertical grid. Change the chart title to, okay, let me get this, to rentals by auto type for July to December. Might be nice to stretch that out a little bit, but, you know, when it's, when you kind of make it bigger, it should fit. Is it going to mark me wrong for doing that? It might mark me wrong because they didn't ask me to resize that, did they? Okay. Eh, maybe they don't want me to resize it. Okay. Anyways, I'm probably going to mark me wrong for that. Anyway. Okay, let me keep going on. Create a 3D clustered column chart using the data for the semi-annual totals. Here's semi-annual totals. Uh, for all auto types on the annual data worksheet, should be the auto types. Okay, create a 3D clustered column. Okay, so I want this, and I want this, and I want to create a 3D uh, clustered column. So now this is the columns, 3D, what kind is that? 3D clustered column. Okay, so that looks like it. That's the one I think they want. And, uh, I'm sorry, what step was I on here? Um, here there, okay, here, uh, for all autotypes, the primary horizontal axis should be autotypes. That's what it looks like to me. Okay, I probably need to move this, don't I? Move the 3D column chart from the annual data worksheet to a chart sheet. Ah, okay. Um, and name that chart sheet semi-annual report. 
Okay, so I just copied that. Um, uh, I need to probably go full screen here. Where's my, oops. Where is my option to move that to a new sheet? I know that that's not a hard thing. Uh, just have to remember, move chart. How about move chart? Uh, to a new sheet. And when I move it to the new sheet, they want it to be semi-annual report. Okay, so there it is. Let me pull my instructions back up. Add, edit the chart title uh, and make it semi annual total semi annual okay so chart title and I'm just pasting I'm copying and pasting I'm uh, just making it easy on myself um, adjust the 3d rotation ooh, of the chart so that the X ro um, rotation oh is 20 degrees and the Y rotation is 15 woo and the perspective is 15 okay uh, let's see if I can do all this and if I can remember the instructions that's the hardest part um, okay I'm sorry adjust the 3d rotation of the chart so that the X rotation is 20 okay the 3d rotation of the chart let me, sorry, can I get back over here okay, so that the um, X rotation is 20 okay so we have this Let's look under my options here. Uh, 3D for oh, 3D format, 3D rotation. X rotation is 20. Okay, so that's really what it's supposed to be, and I guess it's there already, right? The Y rotation is 15. Looks like it's that way already, and the perspective is 15. Uh oh. Now we got trouble. We got to get. Oops. We gotta get that perspective. Oh, okay. Is that because I had it selected? trouble maybe this is where you all were having trouble but it's very much going to depend on what I have um, selected okay so I am stumped for a moment let me um, if I can here let me pause this video and um, impress you with my revelations here just as soon as I um, as I, I look that up. First, I gotta, I'll be honest with you, perspective is not something that I have um, dealt with a lot. What I am tempted to believe at this particular point is that um, is that uh, it de it's going to depend a lot, my ability to adjust that is going to depend a lot on um, on what I have selected. Um, okay, uh, okay. So, uh, so let me pause if I can. Um, new computer and um, apologize. My my keys are a little different. Okay. That might be okay.
Okay, I have not practiced this yet, but, but I am on, in your book, page 559, uh, changing 3D charts and rotation of charts. And I'm actually looking at um, what's in the blue box, uh, E04.21, to change the sh chart type uh, you know, to 3D. Um, okay, and they go through some things, and when I, um, in this particular example, on step D, they say double-click the chart area. So double-click. So i got to be careful. I'm watching the dots here, because that's what's going to tell me what is selected. So, and over here, it says chart area. So I know that's what's selected, right? Okay, and uh, we were over here before 3D rotation. Now, um... Expand the 3D rotation group. We did that. I'm following the instructions in the book here. Then on step E, okay, they had you actually click in the box, but um, they wanted this, as I recall. Let me just double check here again because I've been looking at some things. The 3D rotation is 20. I mean, just for the sake of completeness, what if I typed that in again? I mean, it looks like the same, and that was still 15. Now it's going down to right angle. <sighs> that Okay, well, maybe there's something here where um, I still have the correct chart type, right? That's what I'm wondering about. Did I pick something incorrect? Change chart. Uh, I'm trying to format the chart area, so okay. Chart style, chart color. I'm just trying to make sure I didn't, um, you know, pick something uh, incorrectly. Okay, so let's see, it says format shape there. Well, I'm not formatting shape. I need the chart area. Reset. No, okay. I'm willing to give you points for that since uh, uh, I'm going to work on it probably a little bit more to try to figure that out. Uh, but I'm willing to give you points on that. Okay. Now, is that, well, see, that that was step 11. It. Um, I, I don't remember. It sounded like... Um, People started having problems in eight, so maybe I've addressed some of the um, some of the issues. Reposition the semiannual report worksheet after the annual data worksheet. Save the workbook after annual data. Okay, so I pulled that there. Save it. Got it. Okay. Ensure the worksheets are correctly named and placed in the in the following order: annual data. Let me pull this up a little bit so you can confirm with me. Annual data semi-annual, and then documentation, close the workbook, and then exit Excel, submit the workbook um, as directed. Okay, so um, I actually was able to get a um, student account from the um, publisher, so let me submit it. I am going to have to um, Okay, just to be fair, I, I just went, you know, to the file on my computer. I've got it here, so I'm going to click Upload. Let's just see. Let's just see. Uh, wait while it's uploading. Okay, so I've got it uploaded. I need to click Submit. Grades are not yet available. Your assignment's being graded. When a complete grade, uh, grading is complete, your grade and related reports will be available through the submission. So, uh, return to course. Okay. Uh, well, let me pause until the grade comes back through. I apologize for the length of this video, but I hope in the long run that it's helpful. So, let me pause.
Okay, I'm back. Woo, let's see. Obviously got some problems here. Now, I do know I missed one step, so let's see how much is related to that, right? So view submissions is where I need to go. Okay, so here's my submission. And um, I want to emphasize to some folks, um, this is with all of your greater problems. This is very easy to overlook up here, but you have more reports where you can see what's going on. So let's just kind of go through. You know, I deliberately did not pre-record this because, um, because I want you to see. I mean, I'm going through, I'm figuring this out, and, and we'll just see, okay? All right, so it looks like I did okay on step four, step five, step six. Okay, is this what you guys are saying? But it has taken off points on seven, which I do believe we got that one. Seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so it looks like, goodness, that's about 20, 32 points there. Goodness, goodness. Okay. Okay, so it sounds like, and I'll know if you watch this video or not because I will pose this question to you. It sounds like that the only way I can see, uh, to be fair about this, is if I give you guys these points, 32 points. Woo, I'll have to report to the publisher that we're having uh, issues with that. Okay, so summary report. Let's just look at this. I'm doing this really because I just want to make sure that everybody um, is looking at this. But let's also see, you know, we do have a problem, so let's just see what's going on. Um, there are items which are either extra or missing in your doc. Okay, now notice that either extra or missing in the documented. Click, click on the uh, arrow to view details. Okay. So let's see, um, I missed, where did I miss again? I missed uh, starting with step eight, yeah. So I missed on, oh, I missed some on step five. You guys didn't tell me that. Okay, just the, okay, didn't like the way I did it. Is that what we're saying? Okay. So what I do on step five? Hmm, okay, the font size of the labels was not changed to eight. Did I not change it? I did. Um, they were, uh, I'm sure, looking for me to do it a different way. Um, okay, so I take the hit on that. You know, because I know i got to just get an 80% or above, right? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, okay, uh, for the chart line types on, was not detected on sheet annual. Data in the cluster chart was not increased. Oh! No, I did that, didn't I? Ah. Uh, Okay, I'm just going back. We did change that. Oh, but you know what? That's not what doesn't have markers. Did y'all catch that? Y'all probably caught that. Uh, I thought I chose the one with markers. Uh, maybe I didn't. Oh, after I applied, you know what it was? After I applied the formatting, didn't come back and get the markers on there. Now, is that the one with markers? Yeah. That stack line and that stack line. So line with markers. Okay, they got me there. I missed a step. But, you know, you have five attempts, right? Okay, so I missed that one. Okay, at least. But, and you know, see, this is the great thing. Because with the five attempts, I could fix that. And I hope that you know. Some of you do, but some of you don't uh, know that you can upload that um, again after you have fixed the error. Okay, so let's go through. Um, change the clustered column chart type to line with markers. Okay. Is that what I was just talking about? I think that was what I was just talking about. Change the, oh, the clustered column chart type. Yeah, yeah. Uh, below the monthly data. Yeah, okay, I did that. Okay, that's what I missed, step eight. So you know what it was? Uh, folks, I bet this is what got us all. Um, after we changed that chart type, we didn't did not go back up and uh, put the markers on there. Clustered column chart type was not changed to lines with markers. Uh, chart 
auto type for July to December on sheet annual data. And what sheet was annual data? Okay, sheet annual data. Um, oops. The chart on sheet was not detected in the um, submission. Engine reported the failure as the row and column data were not switched so that the months July to December are represented on the x-axis. And we did do that because we looked at that. Okay, so I'm giving you points for that, but, you know, good to know. Um, okay, so let's go back to I-9. Change the chart style to style 6, which was that dark color on the line chart and add primary vertical markers. Okay, so it feels like the chart line on sheet. Okay. Hmm, okay, I'm just kind of reading this same as you do because I'm trying to understand. Engine reported the failure as the chart style was not set to six, which of course it was. On the line chart, primary major vertical grids were not added, which they were. Okay, so we're starting to see 3D rotation of the chart. Now, we know we missed that one uh, because I don't did not see a way to adjust that. Um, you know, I might Google that, see what I can find out um, on that. But we did, you know, look at the steps in the book, and we see that that was not. So, okay, you know, um, let's just see if we can gain some... Um, Here's the markup report. Let's just look at that, because we're doing this together, folks. We're doing it together. Um, okay, so below is a visual of your graded project submission. Click on the check mark uh, or X icons if you got it, you know, if I got it wrong. Um, well, I'm kind of stuck here. Okay, there's a, one of those check marks I can click on to find out. Okay, let me just go on through what I do wrong. Okay. Okay, so we're kind of just getting the same uh, understanding here. Let me go back. Let me just close that. Um, let's just see if we do gain, um, you know, additional information perhaps from this. Where'd he go? Okay, uh, let me pause. Okay, so I just uh, opened that file, the markup with the uh, submission with markup. So, okay, um, submission markup, okay. And it's telling me what, uh, where my points are and what was going on. So let's look at annual data. Looking for my markup. Uh. Okay. Okay. Well, you know. I wanted to do this together with you. Like I said, I could have done all this in advance, staged it, and then kind of come in and just told you the final product. But I wanted to walk through this with you. And sometimes it's easier, you know, kind of when you're not arguing about um, what the end result should be. Um, so it looks like I owe you about 32 points. Now, there might have been some other things that you missed like I did. And, and I say that sincerely. Um, you know, one of those reports that I, I missed something there, the line markers or whatever. And you, you can see, I mean, I did. So, um... I maybe should have gone back and changed that. I don't know. But we did apply style 6 there. So I'll give you some of those points back and uh, a significant number of those points back, and hopefully that will help. Now, this was grader 4. Uh, I am going to go back and look at grader 3. I'm going to make a similar uh, video, and um, uh, we'll go from there. All right? Um, again.